Martin owes a lot of money. It's the only way I can get from under Duda. You gonna let me take care of him. Can you just tell your mom you're not killing nobody? You don't know my mama. She make Duda look like a saint. I can take care of my own family. And I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to make that happen. If I don't stop this, more bodies will drop. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about the shy season six, episode eight, the mid season finale. This is the final predictions. So down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly what do you think is gonna happen in tonight's episode of the shy. I just got that funny feeling that this game plan to take out Duda, it may not go as planned. And I've been saying this for weeks. I just feel like something is going to happen and somebody else may end up getting hit. Now, I'm not saying Duda's going to win. I'm just saying that this strategy that they got going against Duda, you know, it's not going to go the way they think it's going to go. And somebody probably going to take an L and not just Duda and his crew. So we're definitely going to talk about that in this video. But let's go over the title in the description of the episode and then we're going to go over those exclusive pictures and then we're going to talk about those final predictions. The title of this episode is called Who Shot Ya? And the description of the episode reads, The aftermath of unexpected events ripples through the city. Darnell makes a bold offer. Alicia confronts Tiff. So those are the key things that we're going to have to look out for in this latest episode of The Shy. And I just really believe it's going to be some type of twist in this episode. But let's go over these exclusive pictures and then we're going to go over the trailer one last time. Now, make sure you checked out my last video because I talked about this picture right here between Gemma and Brittany, Bakari's sister. So we already know something's about to go down. Now, of course, they're in the studio, but we're going to find out if it's just going to be, you know, studio and music talk or Will it be some studio love? We're going to find out soon enough. A lot of you guys was, you know, saying that since Gemma did what she did to Kevin, y'all won't be surprised if she did the same thing to Jake. And we know Jake, he's already warned Gemma to, you know, watch herself. Be careful around Brittany. Maybe you should be focusing on, you know, Maisha instead. So expect Brittany to make her move in this next episode. Or she could just be about the music. Well, we're going to find out soon enough. Now, based off these pictures... I'm believing it's going to be maybe a going to way party for Kevin. Now, I could be completely wrong. I'm just looking at the pictures. We see everybody there at the house. We see Dre. She's cooking on the, you know, the grill. So I believe they're just all coming together because we know Kevin. He's about to go to California and basically start his life. And I believe everybody is there just to support him before he starts this new journey. But you can see Kevin. He is happy as hell. He's probably scared at the same time. I also expect him to have that conversation with his mom, Nina, which will be very emotional. Now, we also see Papa and Kenya in this picture right here. And I believe Papa is probably going to apologize to her and thank her for coming to his pop's funeral. And I, you know, basically believe they're going to squash any issues that they had and the two could still be friends. Now, let's talk about this trailer. Let's go over these final predictions and we already know what's about to go down. We know Emmett, he wants to protect his family. We know Darnell, he wants to protect his family as well. And he understands just how dangerous Duda is. We know they talk about, you know, how much Emmett owes Duda. And Darnell, he's talking about, you want to let me take care of it. So Darnell's going to step up to the plate and try to protect his son and his family at all costs. My final predictions is this. Darnell's going to try, but we know Duda, he always got some tricks up his sleeve. Darnell has already warned Duda. So I'm hoping nothing bad happens to Darnell. We already know Emmett is going to appear like he's at a hospital. Could it be because of his dad got, you know, a beat down or got shot or something happened to him? Well, we're going to find out. I'm just hoping Darnell can get through this episode without taking the L. But Duda best not underestimate Darnell. That's the last thing that he needs to be doing. Now, we know Tiff, she will be concerned because of Rob, he's about to most likely try to catch a body. And in my final predictions, I believe that Tiff, she's going to probably try to prevent this from happening. We already know that Alicia, she's going to approach Tiff and most likely she might just check Tiff. I mean, I can be completely wrong, but expect to see 
a crazy scene between Tiff and Alicia. We know Rob is talking about, you know, his mom's makes Duda look like a saint. Well, I want to see some of this action. I want to see what she's all about because I'm tired of hearing all this talk. We're going to see what time it is with Alicia in episode eight. And maybe Rob is right. Maybe Alicia has some tricks up her sleeve and we're going to see them in this next upcoming episode. Now, my final predictions for Emmett and Keisha, we already know that Emmett is going to tell her the same thing he's been telling her since day one. He's going to protect the family. He's going to do this. He got it under control. But we already seen what you know, Keisha has been thinking about it. She doesn't really trust what Emmett is doing when it comes to Duda. So in the last episode, she took matters into her own hands. And I'm expecting her to do the same thing in this episode because we know she will be with Nuck if you buck and you know they got history. Now, I told you guys, I'm going to give Keisha the benefit of the doubt. And I may be wrong. Keisha, do not slip up. Maybe she's getting to, you know, close to Nuck in order to eliminate the threat. Some say that maybe Keisha tries to do this, but ends up getting hurt her damn self. So we going to see. I have seen people say that Keisha, she may end up getting dropped off. We know when Duda was playing Nuck in that game of chess, he told him, you got to use your queen. You got to sacrifice, you know, the people that you love or whatever. And I'm not saying he loves Keisha, but he definitely has feelings for her and he wants to protect her, especially after what they've been through. So don't be surprised if we see elements of that chess game in this whole storyline. Will somebody that's involved in this storyline, I'm talking about one of the queens, get dropped off? Now, your boy Victor, he needs to turn this to Treg in this episode, y'all. He got to step up. He's scared. He don't know what to do. We know Emmett, he's scared his damn self. They all need help. They all really need to just come together like the pastor said and take down Duda. But we know that Victor, he's having a conversation with Fatima. A lot of you guys did mention that he's in all black. Maybe he is getting ready to go back to his old ways. Maybe he said enough is enough and now it's time to get at Duda. And maybe he's one of the people that's in that car that's about to spray up the spot. Well, we're going to find out soon enough. I already told you, Victor got to stop being on that soft stuff. It's time to go back to war. You know what I'm saying? Now it's the time. Or maybe it's going to be some type of twist. Now, we already know Kevin is going to have this very emotional conversation with his moms. Um, and this is going to be probably about him moving to California. And we know Nina, she had that therapy session with Keisha in the last episode so expect her to be more open when it comes to Kevin I'm just hoping none of this is about somebody in the family getting dropped off and it is just about Kevin moving now we know Papa he will be back you know kicking it with his boys smoking just reminiscing on the past times and hopefully he can get over the trauma he has just suffered but as I told you guys expect Papa to turn up a little bit he will not be the same person now we know that Duda is going to have some issues with Zay. And my final predictions, I believe Zay will slip up. Zay is basically believing that he can do more than what he needs to be doing, trying to prove himself. And I believe he's going to try to do that in this episode. And it's going to piss Duda off. And we can see right here, he ain't playing around. We also see somebody in all black with the strap. Some say it could be Victor or it could be somebody else. All I'm saying is this, don't slip up. Do not slip up. You cannot afford to do it, especially if you're going to be going at Duda. Now, we saw this in the official trailer, and now it is time to see what's going to happen in episode eight. Duda will be approached by somebody, a couple guys in this car. They're in all black. We see Nuck. We see Duda. So we can expect it to be a major shootout, and your boy Duda and Nuck may end up getting hit. Some say Nuck may get dropped off. Some say Duda may get dropped off. All I'm saying is this game plan, it may not go as planned and it may be some type of twist. And as far as the shooters, people are saying that it's most likely Rob. Some say Victor or even Jamal. So we gonna see, man. We definitely gonna see. But we know based off this picture right here with Emmett with his hands over his head, something did not go as planned. Now the question is, is this... Because of the shootout did not go as planned or is this before? Did something happen before and, you know, Duda did something that pissed Emmett off and then at the end we see that major shootout? Well, we gonna see. All I know is I'm expecting some type of twist. I'm expecting Alicia to turn up and I'm expecting somebody else to get shot or dropped off. I mean, the title of the episode is called Who Shot Ya? We gonna see and we are gonna see if 
a major death will happen in episode 8, which is the mid-season finale. After this, we're going on a break, y'all. And we got 8 more episodes left um, for the remainder of the season. And so far, it's been a banger season in my opinion. They definitely stepped it up, and I cannot wait to see what's next. Now, we'll catch you guys tonight for the quick thoughts, early impressions, so stay tuned for that video. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.